Hi and welcome to the Cone Beam Tip of the Day for CDOX. Uh, my name is Ross Infinger. In today's video I'm going to be reviewing the layouts in Sedexis 4. So we're looking at an Axios scan. This is a 17 by 13 full volume scan. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at the different layouts that are possible with Sedexis. So what I'm doing is I've gone to the tool menu and I've selected anterior cephalometric. So you can see that from our full volume scan we have a reconstructed cephalometric film and we can also do a lateral cephalometric so clicking on the CL button will give you a lateral ceph and we can use this for orthodontic and orthognathic evaluation as well as some restorative uh, implications with interincisal angle so it's a nice field of view to, to utilize in your practice. Um, next up is our MPR or radiology view. You'll notice most conspicuously we don't have an inspection window like we do in our 2D pano view. Um, but what we do have is we have different slices of our volume. We have an axial slice, we have a coronal slice, and we have a sagittal slice. And what this MPR view allows us to do is sectioned through our scan very efficiently and look for things like pathology. And then lastly we have our endo view. This is a very helpful tool in evaluating endodontic situations and so you can imagine if we had a periapical abscess here on tooth number 30 it would be helpful for us to be able to use these endo sliders and have a 360 view of our, the tooth that in question. So we can do this in our coronal slice, we can do this along our axial slice, or we can do it along our sagittal slice. And what this allows us to do is just visualize the structures, again, 360 degrees around the tooth in question. So I hope this has been helpful in showing you some layouts in Sedexis 4, and join us for the next comb beam tip of the day. Thanks.